Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be kitting down three diamond paintings. There's this one, two, and three diamond paintings, there's two in here. So this one was some fish, this one my mom did, this one was some sort of reef that my mom did also. This one, it's actually done by me. Woot woot. This was um, the cats, the cats, less, less. It was, it was the cat, it was called the cats, but in French. It was... <laughs> I, I could pretend to remember how to say the cats in French. It was like less gatos, gatos. I don't know. Maybe that's in Spanish. <laughs> From Crafties. I did this a while back. So, yes, I'm a little behind on my kidding downs. So, I thought my. My computer made a sound and I was thought, oh man, did something happen? Because I just finished the last kidding down for rounds. I don't know if it's going to be last week's video or a previous week's, previous, previous week's video. Because sometimes I don't record, I don't post my kidding downs in order because I kind of do a kidding down marathon. I'm planning to kit down some squares after this. <laughs> so there, but I just finished my last round kidding down. So what should I want to do first? Let's do the Tic Tac boxes. So there's some 5200s. There's a little bit left in here. Oh, I need another. I need something to plunk my labels on. So this is actually a good amount of 5200. So I, I think I'm just going to put it straight into my 5200 overflow bag because what's the point of putting it into my spares when it's this much? My rig Oh man, it's like really dirty. My mom has sometimes has stragglers in her diamond paintings because she puts all her drills into two trays and then she puts it all around herself. I tried giving her the tray tower one time and she didn't like it. She just kind of wants her trays all around her and then she, she plunks this container directly on top of it. So yeah, my 5200s have a, a little bit of marshmallows, not marshmallows, <laughs> raisins in there. <laughs> bugs. It's mostly 5200. Yeah, my mom, my mom, my mom's kind of a messier diamond painter than I am. So whenever I kit down things for her, I'm like, look, there's like a black in there. I think it looks like this one. Tic Tac containers tend to be a tiny bit easier to kit down from because it's easier to color match them since the containers are clear. 606. So since the containers are clear, I don't tend to have to put them onto a tray to compare them to the colors in the baggies. I used to take off the whole top and then and then and then pour it in, but I'm like, it doesn't seem like I need to do that. I could just open the little opening that it's supposed to be. 351. Alright. I think it looks more like this one. Okay, there's a lot of stragglers in that one. <laughs> 8.24 
it looks like this one. Six, six, six. So five, now that I'm five minutes into this video, I, I'll go through my normal, I guess, kind of explaining what I'm doing. I'm putting away the leftover drills from finished diamond paintings. Diamond paintings do have, they tend to have a legend. So lots of diamond paintings have a legend that has the symbol and then there's a, like a code there. I did color this green because I have two color two diamond paintings in here and I just wanted a way to differentiate between them. And normally the different the the, the DMCs are they do match each other. Sometimes sometimes you do end up having a couple shades and I do separate out my shades. So some of the colors might have more than one bag because I saw a difference in shade. But lots of times they do match each other. I have the leftovers in this photo box here and I have five columns of card here that does have the DMC number. and. So to separate them out, the these cards I made myself using my silhouette cutter. There, I think these are, I made when I made these. They are 2.1 by by 4.1 inches, just because that's what fits my box. I know not all photo boxes are the same size, cause but I got these photo boxes from Joann's. And since that is the local craft store where I live, I figured that's where I'm going to get them. I know, I, I, I think the ones from like Michael's and Hobby Lobby are slightly bigger than the Joann's boxes. But like I said, that's Joann's was my local one. The other ones will require me driving 20 minutes away, 15 maybe. No, I think they're 20 minutes away. Uh, yeah. The Hobby Lobby, I haven't gone to. It's new. But it's like 20, 20 or 25 minutes away. So I'll go when I happen to be in the neighborhood for something else. This one has so many stragglers. Yeah, and then once I bought them, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna have them all kind of match each other So I have different colors. I like these sparkly boxes and There used to be more choices for these sparkly boxes, but now they only pretty much have gold silver and copper there used to be like blue ones and purple ones and I think there's a sparkly pink one, but they don't seem to exist anymore, so all I have left now is the... I have one blue sparkly one, because I bought it back when they still made them, apparently. But right now I have my, my rounds in gold, my squares in silver, and then I have some of my specials and overflows, my specials and my my like my ABs and rhinestones in the in the copper ones. And then I have my special shapes in in my one blue one. Yeah look at how different those two are. But I've gotten both of them a good amount of times. So, who's the correct one? I don't know. Well, if we match it to this, this here, 3607 is 23. 3. 
This see, this one matches this one more. But like, but I've gotten both of these very similar. Also, this this color card here. I see sometimes like since I record these on the same day, I'm like, which what have I said? What have I not said? This was given to me by Celine, so thank you, Celine. And. I just I can't I keep forgetting that I have it and I'm like oh wait I should go use it and I've been kind of trying to use it if if I find that I'm gonna have to put a fourth bag because I have four different shades I decided you know what I don't I shouldn't have four shades and try to match my most the biggest anomaly to something else so that way I at most have three bags per color. But yeah, the four the four bags is what prompts me to go into there and find a match. Until then, I'm like, okay, I'll just do another bag. Because I don't know who's correct. And while that might confirm one shade, it doesn't mean that that is the correct one either. So I've also been, so so this one has a happy face sticker, so that means somewhere in my, in my overflow box, I do have more of it, see, I have more of it. But in the interest of me not going more than these three boxes. I have my overflow box. I actually have four boxes for my squares. I was hoping to get it down to three also, but it just was not happening. So it looks like this one. Man, there's so many stragglers in there. <laughs> like I said, my mom's my mom's a messy diamond painter. Messy diamond painter. Seven seven five baby blue nine sixty four. match this one sea green and I do have the PDF PDFs of all my templates to make these labels uh, linked below in in my shared shared templates link it should go into my Google Drive where I shared the folder where I have a whole bunch of stuff there if you want to check it out, feel free. Oh my goodness. I think it looks like this one. I can see the difference of these, but they're so close that I might mix them. Oh man, look at all those stragglers. <laughs> I might mix them in the future. Not now. Okay, I think it's actually pretty difficult sometimes to just take one at a time out. So I'm going to take out a whole bunch here. Four thirty-six. Here. Don't think it matches either of them. I'm on 436. So I guess this will. Oh, wait, I have a third bag in there. Sometimes I'm like, did I pick it all up? Okay. I feel like it'll match nothing. Let's 
try. Let's try this. Let's see. In the browns. Matches four thirty six. No, uh, maybe four thirty five. Looks like it matches four thirty six or four thirty five. Well, four thirty five is right next to it. Nope. So the closest match, seriously, is four thirty six, which this is what it says. I think I'm gonna mix these two. They look close enough and I'm not sure why I separated them out. And I think I have a- this is my main shade because I have a sticker on there so there must be more in my overflow. Yeah. And this just looks different. But I couldn't find a better match. Alright, I still have three bags. I just had to just decide that two of the shades were close enough that they were gonna get mixed. Oh, there's still a straggler in there. What was that what was I on? 436? why it didn't come out. Can I fit my pen in here? There. One sixty two. Although I have no 162, first time I'm getting 162. I used to have this spreadsheet, well I still have it, I just haven't deleted it. I had this spreadsheet where I was keeping track of whether or not I had some of a DMC and, and I have since stopped filling out the spreadsheet. Perhaps if I had it in paper form, I would, I would check mark it. But nope. And at this point, I'm like, eh. If I have it, I have it. If I don't, I don't. Because I'm gonna just just think that I actually have, I do have it, and if I don't have it, then I'll just look for an alternative DMC. If I actually need, I need that DMC. Or, I'll just be like, well, if I, need, I, I can't finish it with what I have, so I'll just have to put this on hold and try working on something else. I have plenty of diamond paintings. I have more of this because I have a happy face sticker on it. It's in my overflow box. 597. I'm just using a half foot ruler. Looks see I have I kinda have these in equal measures, so I don't know who's correct. But it looks like this one. One sixty four. I actually think it looks like this one.
825. I think it looks looks like it might be a little bit darker. No, it looks okay. That's why I did that initial pour just a little bit. There's some stragglers in there. Still want more. Next eight twenties. Oops. So it's my my ruler a little sticky. 826. Yeah, that looks. There. 300. like I think it looks like this one yeah hundred three seven five six. There's a lot of stragglers in this one. <laughs> oh. There. Three, seven, seven, one. Actually looks like this one. Except oh, now a couple stragglers. And real one. like it the match so we'll pour some we'll pour it into here and see see if you know no they're the same So we finished that first diamond painting, so the next one here. Right, let's just take it take it all out. Okay. 3705. Does look like this one here. Seven twenty. Oh, 
I have three shades of this one. I feel like it looks like this one. Oh, this is the one that I have more of since it's has the Happy Face sticker. Yeah, in case you don't know this, it's a Happy Face sticker. I got that from the Dollar Tree when I was trying to find the Foil Star stickers and I couldn't find the Foil Star stickers but I was like, hey look these Happy Fail stickers. Might be easier than the Foil Star stickers. I don't know why these are separated. I think it actually matches. This one is a little lighter. I kind of feel like I want to just mix them all because they're very similar. But I'll just leave them separate for now. Seven forty one. Tangerine. I have too many labels. Too many labels. Over here. A27. So I have three of them. I don't think it matches anything. Okay, this is where this card comes into play. Let's see. In the blues, the blues. I think it matches A27. <laughs> I think that's what I'm on. Ooh, I think it might be 3761. Maybe. Let's try it. 3761. This is why I have two rulers. <laughs> Which I don't have any, so I don't I'm not comfortable putting that into 3761 without without having a 3761. gonna just put it into here somewhere a separate one I'm actually thinking no those are different you know it'll be a fourth bag because I couldn't other than three seven six one it closest match was eight two seven yeah see this was it'll have four I guess I could always get my squares out and see what my 3761 is, but that requires me going over there and opening my squares. Perhaps I should have tried to match one of the other ones. Oh well. Next time! I already put them away in the box. Pistachio green. I do know I get this one a lot. At least in squares. But apparently I also get a lot in rounds because I do have a happy face sticker in there. So I know it's in my overflow box. 413. Gray. Question is, it's this gray. Let's 
7.45. This one. Coffee brown. All right, I have four of these. This might be, this might be the one I'm gonna have to. I think I might just combine some of these. They're a dark color. That one's off. Uh, I see why I separated this one. This one's the most off. Let's see. Am I gonna be able to find this one? Okay, maybe it's seven seven nine. Seven seven nine. Or eight four four. Looks more like seven seven nine on this thing. Or no, it could be three seven four zero. It looks like three seven four zero. It's in the pur pur purples. Let's try three seven four zero. Was gonna look for. It wasn't the Browns. Browns. Don't remember what I said. Was it seven seven nine? Seven seven nine. Cause that's the only one I could think of that looks close enough. Let's try seven seven nine. It looks like none of the 779s. Actually, it looks like the main 779. Yep, I think I'm gonna. Add it to this one. Okay. It's a tiny bit darker, but it's in there already, so no take backs. So now I don't have one. There, nine three eight. Let me put, make sure I put my stuff back in the same place. This one is seven seven nine, and now this is nine three eight over there. Seven. I only have one bag of this one. Must match pretty well. Beautiful match. Seven one two. This one. Oh, there's still one more. One 
166. Lime green. It looks like this one. So the one that has this color, this this label in, was just the one that I got first. Lots of times. Five eighty one. This one. Okay, five eighty one, three ten. You know what? I'm gonna. Put it in my overflow. Okay, my next bag for overflow for three tens is already full, so I need a new. So I'll just make this one my next three ten overflow. So this is just you know, and then I figure since I'm gonna do this anyway, I might as well mostly empty this. I don't know. I do. I really need some black to tell me what black is. So yeah, my last, my other overflow bag of 310 is already full, so need to make a new one here. I think I need to take out the trays in the back there because my three, my 310s are just overflowing here. And my markers. Dry but not dry. So, another bag of 310. Probably gonna have to move some of this stuff in the first row, move it here, because my 310 just keep growing. <laughs> But I would prefer the 310 background than the white background because white, it's obvious when you mess up in placing them. It's not as obvious with the blacks, I think. But yeah, if I ever spill 310 on the floor, <laughs> I'm not picking that up. That's just gonna go into the trash. Cause there's no, there's no point. I have plenty. Here is white here. For white, I think the, I don't get as many of it just because there's like two representations. There's 5200 and 3865. 5200 is a more white white, while the 3865 is more of a warmer white. And sometimes if I get one that's a more bright white in either one of them or a warmer white, I just put them in whichever one matches more. They're right next to each other on my boxes anyway, so... I kind of feel it looks like different. Pour it into a bag, see, see if I agree. Yeah, they look different. It might not be so obvious on camera, but they do look different. This one's darker. In the future, I might be like, eh. <laughs> because it's happened. I'm like, I don't know why I'm, I... I, I go like, I don't know why I separated these out. They look the same. Okay, it looks like this one. Okay, 
973. Okay, I think that looks okay. Canary Bright. Nine eight. Okay, one is darker than the other. This one looks like the darker one. But I apparently get both of them about equal amount. Nine zero four. I don't know, I kind of feel like they both look the same close enough that I should just mix them. But I can see the difference. <laughs> it's like they look the same, but I can see the difference. They look the same too. <laughs> but this one is just a little bit darker. All right. Got the Tic Tac container. So that's two diamond paintings down. Here. Must have been not that removable. It's no, it's my removal label. There. All right. So I do see that it's about to do the switch over to the next video because it's for, for almost 46 minutes. So I'm gonna stop and then start it again. Okay. So I started and stopped the video again because um, my my recorder only records like 46 minutes and I think like 30 something seconds. before it switches off and makes a new video. So you, and then I lose a couple seconds of footage between the switch. So I, no, I did notice, I was like, hey, look, this is a good place to stop my video and start it up again. I've thought of have, putting in the timer to, to have me stop it so that I don't ever lose anything, but I decided, eh, if I lose the couple seconds, I lose the couple seconds. I kind of feel like this doesn't look the same. If I lose the couple seconds, I lose the couple seconds, and then... Yeah, I don't think it looks the same. No, it looks the same. It looks the same. Eh. I think it's close enough. One sixty-four. I think I think these ones were conveniently in alphabetical order and numerical order, so they're going to be in in DMC order, which will make kitting down a little bit easier. I think it matches this one.
I like it when the legend is in alphabetical order. Which means I usually don't have to put, I don't have to change them in alphabetical order. I usually do move my drills so that they're in alphabetical order. I kind of feel like it don't match either of these. It matches this one more. Nope, it didn't match. It's not, it's not a match. Oh well, too late. Too late. This is why I should pour it into the tray. This is why I have trays here. So I can pour into the tray. See the Tic Tac containers, I, like I said, it made it easier to kit down because its container is clear. So it's like harder to see it when you're in that kind of container. I think it does match this one. Is this one. Okay, this one is a special. I'll do that later. And that one's a special. I'll do that later. Oh, wait. It goes there. Seven, seven, five. Matches. There, seven ninety one. Oops. Cornflower blue. Okay, one of them. I don't know why I have them separated. I'm not sure why it's separated. They're... Yeah, I'm gonna mix these. I'm not sure why it's even separated. The next one. Yeah, I think it's this one. Yeah, that one's just a slightly different blue. Seven ninety nine. This is Delft Blue, which I first thought, I was like wondering what the Delft Blue was, and at, someone told me it might be 
the flower Delphium, but someone also told me it has to do with the pottery that has, it was, was it pottery from the Netherlands? That it was from some place called Delft maybe, that has pottery, that, and I've seen them before, they're just like those ones that look like they're white and then they have this blue pattern on them and that's where the Delft blue came from. So thank you guys for educating me. <laughs> and now I can further educate other folks because you know. I think I think a lot of times if American history is very American that things that take place outside of the US, we don't know it. I didn't learn it in school. I'm not I'm not an artist either, so I didn't learn it in school for art. I'm a I was a science major, so Stuff I didn't learn in school. But we're always learning, right? Learn new things. Like in 2019, I didn't even know diamond painting existed. <laughs> and now I'm, I'm addicted, addicted. Could be wrong about Nether Netherlands. I'm pretty sure it was Netherlands. <laughs> ah. I'm really bad at geography. Just be happy. <laughs> I know Netherlands exists as and it's somewhere in Europe. I think it's north. Is it is it the Netherlands is that part that's right next to above? France? I don't know. You know, once upon a time for high school, I did have to actually learn the map at, at the time of when I was in high school. I know, I know borders have changed, countries have changed, names and things like that, but at the time while I was in high school, I had to learn the countries of the world on the map, like and so we, it was like what it was a test for when I took world history. And yes, I took world history. Don't. It was one of our classes for high school. I think it was freshman year. Yeah, freshman year was yeah world history in high school. And one of the things we had to do was learn the map. And then each, I think each test was a different continent. So once upon a time, I knew all these countries and where they were. And, and then when you don't use this knowledge, <laughs> you completely forget it. But I do remember that Africa was the hardest one for me. There are so many countries in Africa. And Africa is actually pretty large. And I'm sure a large amount of those countries are no longer the same country they were when I was doing the map learning. And then I remember North America, I was like, oh, that's going to be easy. Now they, like, North America included the countries that were in the... Man, I'm horrible at geography. <laughs> Why should I be talking? It included the countries that were in Central America and then all the islands that were in the Gulf. Is that the... Wait, what's the... Man, what's the body of water? Like below Florida. 
What's that called? I don't know. I don't live there. I'm on the West Coast. <laughs> Yeah, those countries that are in that body of water. Where Florida is a peninsula. There's like a whole bunch of like island countries there too. So yeah, I thought North America, what? Just Mexico, Canada, and the USA. Lots more countries. Smaller ones. I think I also, I, I think for US history, did I have to know? No, it's probably like in fifth grade, I think, or something where I had to learn all these 50 states. I don't know if it was fifth grade. Some, like, yeah. I went to a K to eight school, so so a lot of those kindergarten to eighth grade schools, so a lot of the the which grade I learned stuff blurred. Blurs. Blurs. I think it's this one. Like which which Great, I learned it. I don't know. It was sometime while I was in that school. <laughs> okay, these are A, B's, so I'll do those later. And three, three, five, four. Dusty Rose. I think I have pants that are this color. I'm not sure if I fit the pants anymore. Uh, I keep them because I'm like, okay, no, I need to lose weight. Go back to the, that size so I could fit the pants again. Three, eight, oh, four. I kind of feel like it's a different shade. Well, I have some bags here. No, things are close enough. Three eight six five, and then all that's left are the specials. This one actually had a good amount of specials. It has had glow in the dark, ABs, and rhinestones. Yellow and blue. Well, my yellows are in this one. 444 AB. Does it match this one? That's the question. I do have a 444. Do I think it's going to match? I think so. I think. I don't want to have to get my overflow for my. Actually, am I going to be able to close this? There you 
go. Should be able to close that now. Okay, 444. Four, four. Apparently, I already had 444 four, four, AB. 996, nine, that's in blues. That's in a different box. Blues. Do I have a 996? It does seem to match. I'm not going to be able to put this in here. So this is my round specials here. Let's see. My blue. I have my ABs in my blues. So here's 996. Yeah, it does match. I did buy a bunch of ABs from AliExpress. I'm probably not going to buy the round ABs again because I have a good amount of different specials that I could use for my rounds. But I think I am going to buy more square ABs at some point when I get around to it. So let's see. 189, I already know I have tons of that in my bottle, so I'm just going to put it straight into my my overflow because I think 189 is like my most common green and I'm just going to assume that I don't my bottle of 70 is full already, let's see no it's not, it's probably not so what is this color? It's red. So here's my 70. That does look like it matches. So there. My bottle of 70 is full. And I keep them in these bottles because I do use them to bling up, and it's easier, I think, to bling up from the bottles than, because I can see what I have than when they're in, in here. Like you can't, you can't really see what you have when you're in here. So I, that that's just my overflow. It doesn't fit anymore in the bottles. <laughs> Okay, so glow in the dark. I don't think I. I don't think I keep my glow in the dark stuff in. Okay, I think I I was keeping. Am I keeping my glow in the darks in here? So I have my orange glow in the dark here, and my white glow in the dark is in here. So maybe I am keeping my glow in the dark in here. So I'm gonna just put here. I'm gonna call this one. Green glow because. Or should I just put Y? I think I'm going to use my smaller label. This one is like a slightly bigger label. Let's see what... These seem smaller. Yeah, these seem smaller. I'm just hoping it's removable. Okay, so. What's up with my pen not working anymore? It, it works and then it doesn't work.
trying to find another pen. YGO5 Glow. YGO6 Glow. So at least I know it's the glow in the dark version. Yeah, I was like, where did I keep my glow in the darks? With my ABs or my rhinestones? Apparently I kept it with my ABs, probably because I have way more rhinestones. So I might need to ex um, move these things around again because these are full. is done there now I have all these labels now I can just put that away and now I have two more containers empty for my next kidding up Alright, that's all I have for today, so thank you very much for watching, and happy diamond painting! Bye!